All right, I've come to a uh, a decision on how to proceed in this particular situation. Uh, we're going to leave this federation, uh, and we're going to go out of the loan and try to bribe everybody around us with as many resources as we possibly can, and then uh, crush Volataria while we're at it. This is going to take a while, because the Felnol are still at war with us, and they'll most likely try to claim a couple of our worlds. In the meantime, we are going to try to uh, take as many of these worlds as we possibly can. Uh, we are allowed to take a couple of these worlds here. So we actually do have Volataria potentially within our territory. We're going to try to take Asterion and all the worlds. Oh, we're not allowed because why? We'll vote no. Okay, how about we liberate these worlds? Yes! All of a sudden, they're all up for it. Uh, Thuban. Thuban. Well, oh, we, you're not allowed to liberate. The, oh, no, that's the wrong one. Liberate that one. And Asterion. That's a 40, 40 fleet. That's a 41 right there. And Bistron. Liberate that as well. It's 53. And Ova as well. So we'll liberate these two worlds in addition to that. So it's 82, 82%. Let's confirm this. And we're at war. Cool. We are not surprised. In fact, we expected it sooner. You'll find that our forces are ready for you. Well, we shall see about that. We will most definitely see about that. Um... All right, so all of our allied fleets are ready to go. We've got quite a large battle fleet ready. we got 119 fleet power. Uh, we need some visuals on the enemy, though. So let's, re let's move all of our fleets to here and see if we can get some visuals on the enemy. That would be useful at this point. Energy-wise, we're going to set up... We're going to start... Um, turning worlds into Gaia worlds or continentals, depending on what is useful for us. Uh, they are currently engaging the Kroll Empire, uh, which is something that I can fairly easily deal with. Okay, there is our fleet. There is one Volatarian fleet right next door in Thuban. So we're going to go and engage that. If it becomes too much, we're going to go and uh, move out of there as soon as we can. But we do have a significant amount of fleet power available to us. So instead, let's get some more cruisers and some more Tachyon battleships. Okay, our, our allies are following. That's good. Construction complete. We will engage. Station under attack. Where? Station is under attack. Where? 73k. Let's engage. How many jumps is that? It's, I think it's one jump. One jump. And that's in Maya. That is Ultan. Okay, so their fleet is... Not kind of sure what... The, oh, okay, there's a Volatarian system in here as well. Poddle's Pantry, which for some reason I did not clear out at some point. They will lose this fleet if they... Where is this? Is this this engagement? Okay, so that's just a standard uh, battleship trying to get in there. We will sadly lose this, most likely. Can I jump out of here? I should, really. Yeah, okay. So let's jump out of here. Energy is now again at 10k. Uh, that means that we can start terraforming this world into a... Gaia world. So that is now done. Cool. Okay, we're still getting a ton of energy. Okay, so this is going to be another massive, semi-massive engagement. They're going to lose their entire fleet. And this should allow us to get out on top. I wonder how our cutters are going to do here. They are going to rush forward. Wow, look at all those missiles. That should be all their... Yeah, okay. So all their cruiser... All their frigates are pretty much dead. Or at least their corvettes are dead. We did blast them out of the sky. Our cruisers are wrapping things up. Okay, they jumped out. 
Cool. So that cruisers, uh, their their fleet just did an emergency jump out, which is totally understandable. Okay, so did I set this as a rally point earlier? Let's take a look here. It doesn't look like it was a rally point. There it is. So the scout force is now a rally point. Uh, taking down their stations will be useful right here. I should have probably added uh, Pottle's Pantry to my uh, goals in terms of items that we should have destroyed. But that's sadly how it is. It looks like they managed to destroy something here. Uh, we have one frontier outpost. Yeah, okay. Pottle's Pantry is gone. That's fine. Uh, let's jump into Thaban. Oh, there is there. Well, it's a smaller star fleet. It's not particularly important. Uh, okay, Volataria. There is a small fleet. Let's merge these into here. The second strike force, same story there. Let's just merge all of those. Mineral-wise, we are... Uh, what's our fleet makeup here, actually? What's this? 60k. So they're just, they just bounced into one of our systems. If we can jump right on top of them, we should be golden. It's two jumps. It's kind of far. I think they're going to try to jump out. Where are they going? Thuban. They are going to go to Thuban. So Thuban is going to be the location of our next major fight. And they will jump. They will arrive in 14 days. So they're, they will jump in there very shortly. Yeah, they have, should have already arrived. There they are. 60, that's a 60,000 fleet power right there. And I think... Yeah, okay. So their small attack fleet... Uh, are they running? Doesn't appear to be the case just yet. My allies are here. Oh, there's another fleet that is... That's their drop fleet. Let's extend this deal. Yeah, the battleships are ripping our cruisers apart, but we've got so many of them that it shouldn't be a problem. Besides, we outstripped their fleet by quite a significant margin. Yeah, they're going to lose their fleet here again. Uh, yeah, the spice must float. Uh, am I? Do I have all three of them? Yeah, Xuracorp, Mutagen, and Riggan. That's good. There they go, down to 50. This should be a relatively short extermination campaign. I don't think we lost anything, actually. 23k, 48. Oh, what's going on? Uh, for a second there, the game's like, Arrgh! but uh, we're good now. Oh, there go the uh, the, car, the cutters. Let's take a look here, actually. I'm kind of curious how much armor they're rocking. Quite a decent amount. Uh, 138. And our cutters are basically like, yo, you know that armor you got? We're just ignoring all of that. They're just battleships. They ain't going to live. And that will be that. What did we, uh, what did we win here? Uh, I thought that we pretty much destroyed everything. Did they jump out? Apparently not. But their transport fleets are definitely... Uh, Ah, here we go. So, yeah. <laughs> they lost all their cruisers, well, like bar one, one, all their destroyers, and everything but three battleships. So, uh, at this moment, they are inferior to us. Pathetic, even. Yes, let's continue this deal. Let's bomb this world. This is going to be very short. Oh. Oh. Oh, we just managed to integrate uh, these guys. That's good. Oh, and our, na our name is huge. Our name is glorious. Our name is massive. We are the United Human Planets. Ah, Mankind will reign supreme. Which sector is this? This is the... I have no idea which sector is this. Is this Finn Castle? Could be Finn Castle. It is Finn Castle. Oh, uh, this could be a problem, actually. I just realized... I don't have enough influence to edicts. Infederation is minus two. From suppressed factions, I may need to change some of my edicts here. Okay, okay. 
social welfare pl will have to wait for a second until I've built up enough influence to add these uh, ships to these uh, these systems into a new sector. All right. Well, you know what you know what's up next. We're gonna go and start splitting up these fleets, and uh, we're gonna go start carpet bombing. Yeah, twenty four, and all of these obviously are gonna be uh, set to aggressive. And every single one of these are going to go and start uh, blocking st systems, blocking other things. You're going to stay in there. The Four Star Fleet is in there as well. You can probably merge with that. I think uh, this one. Cool. All right, cool. So you are going to go in here. You, sir, are going to go in here. You're going to go in here. You're going to go in here. You are going to go in here. And... Uh, we can probably go in here as well. Actually, we have a smaller fleet that can deal with that. So we got this small fleet. Uh, how much is that? 3k? Yeah, we can we can both go in there. Uh, these two set to aggressive as well. And now we can just go in and start bombing their stuff. 11 out of 7 is, um, yeah, quite a lot. Uh, we need 25 influence to uh, add that to our sector. Which is a decent amount. And then we'll liberate all of these planets as well. Oh, that was a short fight. Oh, God. Are they just drop ships? Is that it? Um, considering the amount of stations involved here, this could mean we lose this. Let's hope that is not the case. Uh, what? Ooh, let's n let's retreat here from now. New beginning. Oh wow, that's three planets. This this sector has three planets in it. Wow, three worlds. Three worlds we can blockade. That is kind of staggering. But uh, we're going to go and uh, blockade these worlds anyway, so. Yeah, we're just cutting through their stuff. I don't think we lost anything so far with all of this, actually. Yeah, cool. And we're bombing. Uh, this star fleet over here is fine. The first scout force is still doing its thing. Got all these other additional worlds that we need to uh, follow up on. Let's build some more 88s. Uh, you don't have a station. Oh, <laughs> right. We can't destroy that because we can't build there, actually, because of the um, uh, the rec restorers are up there. But uh, this blockading we're doing so far is, is, is being quite effective. So let's just lower the uh, planetary thing here. What do we lose? A governor has died. Um, that's mutter, actually. That's interesting. Um, yeah, it is Penasta, though, and losing Pena... Wait, they left? Where did they go? That is bad. Potentially really bad, actually. Where are they going? <laughs> really? That's your idea? To send in a couple of tiny ships. Tiny ships! Tiny Rick! You lose your shit! Oh, yeah. Ignore the uh, obvious references to... Oh, Jesus Christ. To uh, Rick and Morty. Because uh, Rick and Morty obviously is awesome. That's 13k. We could probably split off this fleet into... Something a bit more effective. 13k, and we're just going to send this into this area. And all the support stuff, they can... Uh, these ones, they can go and merge into this. Cool. And let's just open up the military stuff here. Palatial districts, currently not building anything. Station under attack. Station is under attack. Is that still up here? Hostile fleet engaged. 
yeah, we're just we're just ripping these guys a new asshole, as we should. But the, they're losing quite. Yeah, they're losing, and that's their fire. That's five k firepower, one point eight firepower off the f off the field actually. And you should be being aggressive. We're not losing anything. And now we just need to take down these small stations, and that will be it. For some reason, they decided to send the cruiser in as well. Not entirely sure what the thought was behind that. <laughs> I like how we went to plus 700 to 16 due to these stupid sectors. So this was Finn Castle, right? Uh, yeah, so Finn Castle is going to get some more stuff. Uh, cancel. Uh, Finn Castle, where are you? We're just going to go and uh, add all of this stuff to it. And we're back. Okay, cool. And 900 again. That's what I like to see. Good. Good. All right. So these boys are in here. They've managed to do all of this stuff. You need to split up. You're going to be bombing. You're going to be bombing this one over here. You, sir, are going to be bombing this one over here. And you, sir, are going to be bombing Oh, this one over here. We're at 64 war score. That's going to be crazy. Increased very shortly. I should have added this uh, this, this area to our war goals, really. Wow, a single Valetarian battleship is just roaming around. It's cool, bro. All right, let's take a look here. Um, you are going to... Oh, wow, we can... Pretty. We're almost. We're almost at our at our war goal, actually. Uh, we could decide to split up one of my forces once again. It's the first scout force. That is the most important one. What's we'll going on here? Inactive buildings, because population growth. Yeah, I was gonna split this up and uh, add one more system to the systems that we are blocking. And then, in the end, we need to add Beta Hydrari as well as um, Maya to it because there's two, there's four worlds here that we need in order to uh, stay on top. Uh, you are okay. So that already has a station. We're, we've basically managed to increase our uh, our items or at least our fleet power by quite a lot. You are at minus twenty seven energy. Yeah, exactly. So blocking this we should boost us up to 94, or maybe even 93. So that is pretty positive. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with the Felnol War. They haven't really done anything in a while. Okay, it's not a spaceport gone. Voletaria is being trampled. And we're back onto 10k. You know what that means? We're going to go and... Uh, turn a world. Okay, this is one that's already being terraformed. Uh, I need something. I need a big world. I need a big system. A tundra world. Size 19. That will do just fine. Let's terraform that. Station under attack. Station under attack. By whom? There's nothing in here. Or is it up here? Uh, if I can find a stupid place. No, it's not. Okay, it's not Pinasto. Strangely. Oh, 94. Let's negotiate. Let's send... Oh, I need one, one more tick. Okay. I could send in the armies. And I'm kind of tempted to do so. So let's send in a army in here. How many planets would you like? How many how many fleets would you like, sir? Sir! Sir, you can't park over there, sir! Sir, you're blocking the path! Sir! Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's, they're over at Beacon of Infinity, so whatever. Uh, and, uh, as soon as we land these armies, we should be able to force uh, all of our demands. I should really have taken these ones so my name could be even bigger. 
But and our, our 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 letters are overlapping their territory. That means it's automatically ours, right? Meanwhile, the Kroll must be so happy that we helped them out. Uh, demand vassalization. They must be at peace. the hell is that? Okay. Um, was that my... That was my army. Uh, that was expensive. Okay. Um, all these gene warriors, they're going to get Xeno cavalry attached to them. And at this point, they're basically free. Good lord, I hate this part of the interface so much. It's, it's like you want to stab yourself with a rake. And I don't mean like the, st the stick part. I'm talking about like the area that has the uh, the white part on it. You know, the, the actual raking area. That's the kind of what you want to do. Um, okay, so we just managed to lose our gene warriors. It's not exactly great, but uh, let's, let's take a look at this world, shall we? Oh, my. Are you having some uh, purging? This pop is being... This wait what? Wait a minute. They're being purged. How does that make? Wait what? They're purging their own people. No 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 no. Nobody's purging anybody. That's my job. They're actually. No way. These pops are being purged? Like, I'm fine with it. Like... Okay, so in four months, this planet's gonna be lifeless. Um... I'm just gonna sit in orbit. I'm not doing I'm gonna do anything. You know, it's gonna be a world that is gonna be completely empty. I'm completely cool with that. You know, the whole they can do whatever they want, you know, it's like, they can have their sovereignty. Soon as they're done with using their sovereignty, I will take their stuff, sure, but Jesus Christ, well that will wrap up this episode. What a discovery we just made. Volatrians do uh, give so much of not of a fuck that they have decided to eliminate their own population. Well then, that happened. And until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.